Well, hey, what's up, everybody? I was just uh, looking in the monitor uh, of myself with this white t-shirt in my shaved face and head, and I look like the thumb angel, don't I? Me and the thumb, pretty <laughs> pretty close looking. What do you, wait, what do you think? Kind of. Um, I, I get some messages sometimes where people are uh, questioning my motive. Or hating or whatever. Whatever, dude. Uh, or dudettes. Usually dudes. And I think that um, what this channel is very different than other channels is um, I'm kind of on a journey, right? And these videos just kind of document where I'm at. And you can go back. There's a lot of videos. You can go back and start at the beginning and watch the evolution of the professor. Sounds like a great name for an album, don't you think so? The Evolution of the Professor. And um, and, and here's another, here's a video from Indian Monk. Let's take a look at it. The highest mountain in the world, Mount Everest, has a height of 8,848 meters, 29,029 feet, above sea level and has yet been climbed by over 4,000 people. Mount Kailash, on the other hand, stands 6,638 meters, 21,778 feet, tall and its summit is still unclimbed by any human so far. Why? Many believe that the legendary mountain is where Lord Shiva resides, sitting in a state of perpetual meditation along with his wife Parvati, and it is him who makes the mountain unclimbable for mortals. In 1926, Hugh Rutledge, an English civil servant and mountaineer, along with Colonel R. C. Wilson had made an attempt to climb the legendary mountain. Accompanying them was a Sherpa called Satan and the three spent sizable time around the mountain. Rutilage considered the north face of Kailash to be 6,000 feet high and called it utterly unclimbable. Colonel Wilson claimed that, just when I discovered an easy walk to the summit of the mountain, heavy snow began to fall, making the ascent impossible. Another mountaineer, a Russian climber, Sergei Sistiakov, said, When we approached the foot of the mountain, my heart was pounding. I was in front of the sacred mountain, Mount Sik, which cannot be beaten. I felt extremely emaciated and suddenly I became captivated by the thought that I do not belong on this mountain, it must necessarily come back. As soon as we started the descent, I felt liberated. History states while there have been many attempts to conquer the mountain, no one has been successful in the endeavor. There has always been one or the other reason why the mountain couldn't be scaled. While the story of Lord Shiva residing at the peak of it excites many, the same is what people believe is the reason why no one has ever climbed to the top of it. The last recorded attempt at climbing aimed Kailash was when the Chinese government had given permission to a Spanish team to climb the peak in 2001. However, it was followed by an instant outrage among people across the world whose faiths believe that Kailash is the holiest. If you like this video hit like hmm. button and share. Here's one of the things that I ask a lot of the uh, about Indian gods and Hinduism is where are they? And I don't mean that as disrespectful. And sometimes the gundas, right? There are gundas out there who want to attack me when I say this. I, I, I'm just trying to understand what what is the construct of Hinduism. It's important for me to understand this because within Hinduism, India fits. Within India. Um, Bollywood fits the films fit and, and it will help me become a better reactor understanding this and one of the questions I've had is where is Shiva honest question not trying to disrespect anybody this answered it uh, from Indian Monk some believe he's on top of this mountain in a state of perpetual meditation which I think is when he's awakened from it or if he's awakened wrong he becomes the destroyer is that right mm, i don't know but um very very good i i have i have some uh, with rishi cash we're working on a um an animated uh, shiva 
piece for you guys, and I think you'll enjoy it. I think it'll be good. So anyways, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Peace and much love.